this is probably the most boring shit already. I know people are. You, can you imagine clicking on this if you're watching this? And being like, <laughs> these guys are fucking this guy. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. <laughs> But now, you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo, right in the palm of your hand. Yeah, what's up to my thugs pushing in the game and stuff like that. We gonna maintain and stuff like that. <laughs> Wanna go to Chachi's? Get some coffee? Oh, it's a little early. I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. I think pizza's cool. Anything? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll get the two large ones with the with the with the Howie bread. Uh, one pepperoni and one um. Uh, what what other toppings do you guys have? Oh, and one, one chicken. Is this Hunger Howie's? How's it going, bro? Oh, it smells bomb. Oh, dude, it's good. It's crusty as fuck. What kind of crust you get? Uh, one of them, it's um, garlic, and the other one's like uh, ranch, I think. Huh. We used to have one of these by my house. Oh, I like that logo. So do I. I like it. It looks like a like the bazooka gum or like old school uh, yeah. howdy duty shit. Yeah. Howdy duty shit. Start out with the garlic bread. You want to start with the garlic bread? Yeah, let's do the garlic bread first. Let me. Yeah, let's do the garlic bread. First. Hungry Howie's garlic bread. Taste test one. Fresh off the loaf. <laughs> that was a good one. Very soft, they're like crunchy candy. Those bits are pretty crunchy. Just satisfy the stomach though. I got a six out of a ten on that one. Right now, I'm feeling about a, a nine out of ten right now. But if I wasn't hungry, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because if you're hungry, your um, your, your ideas are skewed. That's that is true. If you're hungry, anything can taste good. Even bark from the tree. Yep. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's do a test with the pizza sauce on it. Take a okay. dip. What do you think about that? Pretty this is hungry. Always pizza sauce. A little dip. Here we go. Dip and dip. Pretty standard. It tastes kind of like paste. Yeah, it does. That, yeah, that's, like like Dan said, that's pretty standard sauce right there. Actually, um, maybe a little subpar. It's a little subpar. It it's almost like Prego. Yeah. Actually below that. Prego. Oh, I'm going to dip the other end. I didn't, I didn't bite off this end yet. I'm not really digging it. We're done with the garlic. We're on garlic. Dan's a little hungrier than me, I think. Pepperoni or chicken? Let's do the chicken first since pepperoni okay. is standard. A little pollo loco. Pollo feliz from the American. There you go. Just so you guys can see. Kind of hungry. Why don't you just go in the fridge and get a little bit of ramen. <laughs> or you can go to papajohns.com, use our coupon code douchebag, get 50% uh, off a pizza, and you spend $15 or more. And bring it home and eat it. And it won't be that good, but... Well, I'm going to tell you, I, I, uh, the cheese doesn't taste that good to me. Yeah. <laughs> this is very... You know, it's hard to tell, because pizza is, like I said, pizza is like sex. Even if it's bad, it's still pretty good. But that being said, standardized pizza. standard pizza. That's your cardboard pizza. Yeah, I mean, it's better than your five dollar hot and ready little Caesars. Ooh, but yeah. Good. If I had a little bit of forty of old English, <laughs> you know, after a long night of uh, playing other forty hands, <laughs> now this pizza might rank a little higher. It's okay. Chicken looks okay. I'm, we're gonna. I'm gonna eat it. I mean, I'm gonna eat it. Was it worth twenty dollars? That is more pizza than we No, eat. you're going to put that in your fridge and you get a value out of microwaving it. That's true. I think we each need to have a table here. <clears throat> you know, and let's... These are very... These are a high value. You don't really 
you don't really see this, and you know, and that's no, what it's, IKEA is going to charge you an arm and a leg for you know a little table like this. No assembly required. Comes right on top of the pizza, and so and that's oh, they don't even you don't even have to order it. They just give it to you for free, like the jalapenos at Papa John's. You know, it's a bonus perk. It's a free addition. No and, charge. And that makes up for the low quality of the pizza. Is this free furniture yeah. piece right here? You could put a. Um, I mean, you could have your little mini. You could I put mean, a bead on there. You put a bead on there if you have an ant farm. Hey, you can take put the your ants out. Put your vape juice on top of that. Yeah, it's a vape stand. Oh um, my! Well, it's not going to show up on camera, but you can show them. Look at that! Vape I mean, juice that perfectly on top. For all you vapors out there, I mean, Dan just brought this to light. You could. You can you can get a bunch of these and just have these standing. Your vape safe and sound. Now, right it's not going to show up on film, but there's about a hundred or more uses for this video. Watch out for a future video on uses for the um, for the little table for the hungry Howie's little table. That's a good video. You know what? That's a great video. We're going to put that out. Um, life hacks. Right, and the triangle uh, shape of this table. Is gonna give you a more modern look for your your home because if you're getting all your, your furniture from uh, either IKEA or Salvation Army, you want to have a little something to spice it up, especially if you're gonna be bringing a woman into the household. So you're already on the pepperoni island. Um, um, yeah, I took it now. My front top tar again. Um, it's a little bland. Um, you know, I don't want to complain about it, but um, it just doesn't. It's pizza, it's good, but it just doesn't take the you cake. Know, if I close my eyes and I eat this pizza, I wouldn't even know there's pepperoni on here. Yeah! It just tastes like it's a it's imitation. And the real, it's, the, guys, the pepperoni is paper thin. Yeah, paper thin. I mean, it doesn't even, no, look, the other thing that you doesn't do, look like it's cooked. Yeah, if, it's you don't, if you don't like the pepperonis, you can actually take them off of the pizza and put them on your little table for later. When you want a midnight snack, you might wake, if you're like me, you wake up at three in the morning, wheezing and coughing, looking for your vape. Well, if you have this little table there, you put your juice on top, take the juice off, eat the pepperoni. So great idea. Also, if you have a roach infestation in your apartment or your home, you can actually use this, put the pepperoni on it, and draw the roaches to the corner that you want them in, and then set them on fire with a lighter and a rain spray can. Oh right, well, you could do that definitely. Like I said, there's going to be another future video for what, I mean, maybe if you guys really want it, we'll do it for you, of what you can do with these plastic tables. Now, there's a ton of pizza places, and some of them don't even give you these. They're going to charge you extra to get these from China. But if you get, go to Hungry Howie's, you'll get the triangle table uh, along with the pizza. And I think that's really what we're trying to focus on in the video uh, more so. It's not really about the pizza. It's about the experience and the, the free table that comes with it. Exactly. And I was quite surprised when we opened up this. I didn't even know this video was going to turn into yeah. going from the pizza to the tables. But you know what? We found so you find something. You find something. So, so this isn't even a review. This is just some bogus ranting. Um, pizza subpar, but it does the trick. It, it fills the pizza need, but it's not going to please you. You know, it's going to it's going to do what it needs to do and go home. And uh, if you uh, it's a good one. You know, a little bit later, maybe you're feeling a little, uh, you're feeling a little, uh, you know, late night craving, and, and you don't have a woman by your side. You can go into the uh, stumble past your, your vape table, and go to the fridge. You got this pizza left over now. Good thing is, if a burglar breaks into your house and they see this pizza, more than likely they're going to leave it there because there's better food in the garbage uh, that's for anybody to take, and there's no uh, legal risk involved with, uh, you know. Pursuing food out of the dumpster versus coming into Derek's house here and taking the pizza. Exactly. So your pizza will always be safe. Hungry Howie's will always be safe. Burgers will always go for, like Dan said, the stuff in the garbage rather than this. So you know you'll always be safe with that in that arena. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that, like Dan said, if you don't have a one by your side, you know what? You don't need to run out and go get a prostitute. You just need to run to the refrigerator right. and get a hungry Howie's. Especially if you got a chicken. You know, this chicken probably had more meat on it than some of these uh, street walkers I see out here in the corner. Absolutely. Uh, past 9 o'clock at night, you go down to the CVS. We're out here in Tucson, people. There's a lot of uh, people walking the streets. and uh, Disgusting. You know, there's not enough pizza to go around, so it's kind of all about war. We, 
We've had to barricade the door here because of the pizza shortage, actually. Yeah. And it's almost like the zombie apocalypse, but with pizza. Yeah, when she walked up to the door, we had the delivery here, it wasn't on camera, but when she walked up to the door, she didn't even have a case over the pizza, she was just holding the, just holding the pies right out there for the world to see. And, uh, you know, this is a Craigslist day and age, you know, anybody could have come up there, whacked her over with a 2 by 4 we could have got the pizza for free, but these delivery people are risking their lives to bring you mediocre pizza, with uh, on a daily basis, convenient tables, and God bless her for that. She's out there every day driving around. Who knows who's going to jump in front of the car, stop, jack her? You know, she's risking her life for that. We appreciate that. You know, she she doesn't have a DiGiorno attitude. She has this oh. is delivery. It's not DiGiorno. And you know what? Now, DiGiorno might taste better, but it does. It really does. I'm glad Dan brought that up. DiGiorno is a great pizza. I know we're talking about hungry hours, guys, but if you really want a good pizza. DiGiorno. It's a little expensive, but you know what? It's great. Yep. And um, so with this crust, it's gonna it's gonna just build up in your stomach. You want to get a sip. You want to replenish your fluids. Now, what we're drinking here is uh, this is a. Uh, it used to be for milk, but you wouldn't know that unless I told you, right? Um, um, so now we've got some convenient tap water in here out in the middle of the desert. That's a luxury, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna afford in other places across. You know, the continental United States. You know, Mad Max couldn't get that. You know? Mm hmm. <laughs> You're like that. Yep. You know, Mad Max couldn't get water out where he was at. I slice. My hands are quite greasy, but I'm gonna, you know, a man's gotta do it, a man's gotta do it. A little, a little sorry. Let me get you something to wipe that down with. Yeah, I need a, a good wipe, a wipe down over here. Get a wipe down? Now, where's I want to take a vape break and then get into some more pizza. Let's do that. Let's please do that. Yeah, it's gonna be a little unorthodox, but here because <laughs> I have no towel. Oh, oh, I have no paper towels. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just. So we're taking a little right. break here to vape, guys. Uh, Derek's over here with some bandanas, and I've got a, a, a nice house rag here. Uh, this might be the Bercrombie and Fitch. No, oh, oh Fitch. You know, and that is a, actually, that is a generic Abercrombie, which is actually quite better than the real thing. Just going to tuck it in up here, and we're all good. There you go. Absolutely. I want to set, after the Hungry Hours Pizza, um, if you have a higher nicotine level, that might uh, be overdoing it because the pizza alone is a little poisonous. Uh, so you want to watch the nicotine levels. Right now, I'm <laughs> See? <coughs> see, what see, the pizza's getting to him here. Uh, it's doing it. It's, I think it's the pepperoni. Oh! I think it's a pepperoni and a combination of pepperoni and who knows if the chicken has salmonella poisoning on it or not. Yeah, the chicken, I know Samantha did make it, but um... And here's the other thing too, Dan, I don't think they actually cooked it long enough in the thing. It's not crispy, it's not, the chicken doesn't taste like it's cooked all the way through. No, this is some pollo loco. This is not, and that, by the way, got this for free today. By the way, we can have some of this afterwards too. Oh, a little bit of pie. A little bit of pie. Apple lettuce. Everybody pie. at home, here's what we have here. Right. And this was the best deal of all because it was free. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit from later. But I'm going to sit down here with Dan and take a vape, pull up a vape. Yeah. And Dan, what are you vaping on today, my friend? Well, uh, we, this video is brought to you by um, Vape, vape Bros French Dude. This is our own vape liquid. You can get that on uh, vapebros.com forward slash vape backslash more. Uh, and use coupon code Hungry Howie's uh, Pizza Tables. Get 50% off of uh, $500 or more when you, when you purchase. And we also bring you these unicorn bottles that you can fill them up in, which holds 30 mil, so you don't have to lug 60 mil around. Nice convenience, got the logo on it, squeezable, boom, right in um, your tank. Uh, th these vape liquids are not FDA approved, uh, could be hazardous to your health, but like I said, if you're eating Hungry Howie's, it's not. Um, we could set up the snowball if you want. We'd have to run audacity. No, that's just still not a good idea for a video. <laughs> no, no, I'm too no. fucking hungry to give a shit. Yeah, let's not do it. Yeah, let us know what you think in the comments down below. If if you're a hater, we love to hear from you. Um, Drop it in there, even if you think we're fucking idiots. Put the comment. Yeah, in there. I'm a skinny little bitch. This guy's crazy too. Whatever you want to say, we'll listen to you and uh, I'm get a game back to you here. within Sorry. 24 business hours. Go ahead and, uh, this is the end of the video. This video sucked, but uh, thank you for watching. Rockstar. Brought to you by Rockstar. Make sure you get your French dude vapes. And, uh... Want to change the world?
There's nothing to it.